I, I know for a fact that we're going to be talking about Halo 5 speculation. I'm going to try to avoid spoilers for Hunt the Truth, but we may have to bring up some stuff there, basically. Um, if it is, I will basically do this, or something like this, for spoilers, basically, so you can fast forward the video if you have to. So, now that we've talked about Hunt the Truth, let's talk about our Halo 5 speculation. I know you have your ideas. You go first. Okay, well, first of all, I think that Halo 5 is going to be one of the most interesting stories we've seen in the Halo game. I'm very interested to see on how they're going to play out the two sides of this, and I'm very interested to see on who and why they think a Master Chief is a villain, and what what the defenses are, because I'm... Er, er, being a Halo player, everyone wants to side with the Chief. Mm -hmm. So they, they have to put a very strong point into why we should side with the other person. Lock. And I'm very interested to see on how they're going to play that off and there's so much stuff that they got to cover in this story between catching the chief up on what happened in the four years that he was gone what are they going to do are they going to get cortana back or is he going to find a way to extend her life comments there are two things and these are not spoilers because these were in halo 4. one there were snippets throughout halo 4 as easter eggs basically establishing that dr halsey was working on expanding ai life for smart AIs, that the foreigners had figured it out, basically. We know this from the Halo 5 announcement trailer, basically, that there was something that was recognizable. It was, it was definitely forerunner technology, probably Promethean-based or something like that. We've seen it already in the Halo 5 gameplay, we, in the gameplay footage, that this is something, as I think it's a Guardian or something like that, or Guardian Tech or something like that. So that is highly likely that Chief is looking into bringing Cortana back or figuring out some way to restore her or something like that. Also, we know for a fact that Jen Taylor is involved in Halo 5. Now, is she playing Cortana? That I cannot speculate on. But I can say that she is definitely playing Halsey. We know for a fact that Halsey will be back because they showed her doing Halsey's role in the Sprint series. Yep. So we know that Jen Ta Can Jen Taylor do Cortana's voice? Absolutely! <laughs> we know she can. Yep. We know she does. So, yeah. That's, okay, you continue. Well, bringing that up as well, that means Dr. Housley has to escape Onyx somehow with three other Spartan 2s and two Spartan 3s. Halsey returning. Yeah. We know this also because the people, okay, for those of you who may have read uh, the book Halo Ghosts of Onyx, uh, basically it ended on a cliffhanger which has not, as far as I know, I haven't read any of the later books, but as far as I know, this has this been solved or resolved or something? I, as far as I know, it hasn't. It, it was left off as Dr. Halsley trapped with three original Spartan 2s and two Spartan 3s trapped inside the shield portal of the Onyx. Fred was state. one of them. Uh, Fred, Kelly, Linda, Kelly, Linda Kelly, and then the two Spartan, three tra uh, Spartan 3s who became two major training people for Spartan 3s. Okay, a couple of comments. I know for a fact that there's an Easter egg in Halo 2's anniversary. It's in the Halo channel where you literally see Fred and I think it was Linda, it might have been Kelly, um, basically at the end of Halo 2, they're perfectly fine, they're delivering something to uh, the UNSC on behalf of the Chief, or at least would have taken place after the events of Halo 2. I, I took it as that they must have gotten off Onyx if, 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 yeah. this was, if this information was being delivered, because the timeline would have established that this was important, certainly. Yeah. Uh, secondly, Halsey is back. We know for a fact that Halsey is back because Halsey appeared in the Halo 4 Spartan, uh, Spartan Ops. Uh, trailers. We yeah. know she's a character in there. It is Jen Taylor voicing her. It is Halsey. And this takes place after the events of Halo 4. Yeah. Now, we know for a fact that Halo 4 would have to have taken place after Ghost of Onyx because it takes place shortly after the events yes, of Halo Ghost 3. Ghost of Onyx, uh, from the time that Halsey arrived on Onyx, according to the book, it was right after escaping the Reach with Kelly. Right. And that would have taken place sometime between, at, Halo, between, Halo, 2, between Halo, Halo 2 and, and well, between Halo 1 and Halo, Halo 2. 2. Somewhere that, around there. At the point of time. So she would have had to have gotten away from Onyx, or escaped Onyx, with the other Spartans. One, to appear in Halo 4 at all. And two, for Fred and Linda, or for, basically because Blue Team is going to be playable yeah. in Halo 5. Yes, exactly. That They're not making any mistake about this. This is not a spoiler. We know that you will be playing as Blue Team in Halo 5. One is going to be Locke's team. That's going to be told from two perspectives. Yep. One is going to be the Chief's team, and one is going to be Locke's team. Locke's team is going to be made up of Buck. Lock and two other new new Spartan fours, I think, or something like that. But the Master Chiefs team is going to be 
Blue team. Yeah. It's going to be blue team and Fred and Linda and or, or Fred and Kelly. Well, I, I don't remember exactly. I can't remember the names exactly. I didn't right. recognize one or two of them. But yeah, it's going to be the Chiefs team. So yeah, we've got something going on there. They're probably going to tie into, this is just my speculation, maybe this is Hunter True spoilers. Uh, fast forward a bit if, if we're going to say this, but we're, you, I know you brought up insurrectionist possibilities. It yeah. looks like they want to tie into insurrectionists. What were you trying to tell me before we started recording about how your feelings were about the insurrectionists after the events of Halo 4? Well, we know we don't really know anything between, not much at least, between the acts of Halo 4 and Halo, uh, Halo 3 and Halo 4. We know that the covenant, Human Covenant War ended. To my speculation, I imagine the insurrectionist war started back up again. My belief would be that the insurrectionists, for the most part, find Chief as a villain due to the fact of the acts of the Spartan Twos before the Human Covenant War started up. Because the Spartan Twos were originally trained to be act against the insurrectionists and hopefully win that war. Right. That was your speculation. I, okay, hunt the true spoilers right here. Um, while there is definitely, after the events of Halo 3, insurrectionists, UNSC, infighting resuming, certainly, while that has been mentioned, they mostly were for political reasons. The insurrectionists still do consider the Master Chief a hero. They still do. Um, this is clearly referenced in Hunt the Truth. Sorry, I, there's a spoiler there. But there is, they still do not trust the UNSC, and a civil war could resume at some point because the insurrectionists did clearly state that they were still mad that the UNSC never came for them. Even though they had brought soldiers to fight once the Covenant War began, um, several insurrectionists or, or and outer colony people, we'll just call them outer colony people, we won't call them insurrectionists right now, several several civilians of the outer colonies came and enlisted as soon as the insurrection, and soon as the Covenant War started. Because they were the first to be attacked yeah. by the Covenant. But here was the problem. Once the outer colonies started asking for help, they never got it from the UNSC. And they're still bitter about that. So even though the outer colonies felt that they helped the UNSC to win the Covenant War by delivering bodies and resources and things like that, which yep. is important, they never felt like they got anything in return. Well, because the UNSC was very adamant about protecting inner, inner planets such as Reach and Earth and all those type of planets. They weren't as worried about the outer colonies because the inner colonies were what was more important at the time. Well, so basically the, the outer colonies seem to be a little bit bitter about that right. decision. And that might be brought into Halo 5. I know they're talking about it in Hunt the Truth right now. Yep. Spoilers. Um, I know they're talking about that right now. It hasn't been resolved as of this as of this taping. Um, Hunt the Truth is, Season 2 has just started, so I can't really speculate on the future episodes. But, yeah, that's something yeah. that may be touched upon in Halo 5. All right, so anything else you want to talk about with the plot? Um, yeah, the Covenant back. The Covenant was back in Halo 4. We never really got an explanation. I'm hoping that we'll find one here in Halo 5. I mean, I, I, if I was the chief, I'd be wondering what the hell was going on, because when I finished this, the war was over. Now, I saw some footage. There was some footage that was released on, uh, on the official Xbox channel a couple of days, a couple, maybe about a week or two ago, which was from the Spartan Lock perspective, where he was trying to fight his way through some Covenant ruins, not Covenant, uh, Forerunner ruins and stuff like that. But the Covenant were already there. However, even they kept saying, the war is over, the war is over, why are you here? Stuff like that. So while it's obvious that the war is over for many of the Covenant factions, there, for many of the other Covenant factions, possibly there could be Separatists that we yeah. saw in Halo 4 and the Halo Assault, Assault you know. There are co factions that still believe in the Great Journey, yeah. basically, so... Well, that, though, I was also wondering, you noticed that the, in Halo 4 there were no Brutes. That leads me to believe that maybe some elites went, took back over parts of the Covenant, kicked out the Brutes, and continued the fight as if they did through, from Halo 1 3. Do you want to ask about the Flood? Because I have to bring up the Flood. So how does the Flood tie into this? they may bring back the Flood. I remember specifically during Halo 4's development that Microsoft said they were not going to bring back the Flood for Halo 4. Too soon. Too soon to bring it back. Yep. But I heard that they were planning on saving the Flood for Halo 5. Now, this is not based on any speculation on my part. These were just rumors I heard during Halo 4's release cycle that they were planning on bringing back the Flood for Halo 5. And this is no big reveal that, you know, we knew Halo 5 was going to come the second we knew Halo 4 was going to yep. come. So we knew it was coming. But here's the thing. How? And we haven't seen it. We yeah. haven't seen him. I, you, do you want to fight the Flood again? Because I should have. Uh, I don't. <laughs> we don't like the Flood. <laughs> but maybe it's been a while since we've seen him. <laughs> 
Yeah. Maybe maybe they'll just bring those, you know, warm up the cockles of our hearts all over again just to see the flood back, you know. Oh, God, I'm just, I'm looking forward to it like I'm looking forward to my teeth being drilled. <laughs>